everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Rochelle from Rochelle handmade designs and in this video we are doing a pattern review and this is also my what you working on Wednesday now before we get started go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video so without further ado let me go ahead and give you the table of content so I will tell you what I worked on or finished up this week, followed by what's coming up this upcoming week, as well as a pattern review for Butterick 6677. And then I will tell you the sale that's going on at Joann's as well. And the last thing I will close with is what I am working on, which would be hashtag so purple to end ALZ. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so what I worked on this week. So I worked on four things this week and three of those are completed. One is currently I'm still working on. So if you looked over the weekend, I posted this top right here, which is the shirt, which was the third top as part of the top series part five, the fall season. It's fall y'all edition. Um, this is McCall 7629. If you're using the old pattern, McCall 8067 if you're using the newer pattern. Um, the instructions are still the same, no different. I did this in a three part series because many of you like for it to be broken down the way that I did in the video to where you're able to not have to fast forward through so many different steps and parts and get to exactly what you're looking for, okay? So that's why I did it in this uh, different part instead of one complete video. But I love this shirt. Um, I love everything about this shirt. I love the buttons. I love the facing. I love that it's a V-neck. You can wear this as a normal shirt and you could also wear it if you're in a healthcare field. You can't, instead of wearing a scrub, you can wear this as your top with buttons as well. Who knew that? Or you can move the button placket and make a modification and not have that button at the front. So you can look up and see that video with photos for all parts, uh, part one through three as well. But this is McCall 7629 or McCall's 8067. You could do, you could look at the sew along as well for this shirt. The next thing that I created this week was this um, dress. It's a dress, it's Butterick 6677. Now I love this shirt, this dress. I'm sorry, this dress. I love the shirt, but I also love this dress. It came together so easy, which I will do a pattern review on later on in the video. Um, but this is the second thing that I worked on this week. The third thing that I worked on this week is um, a jacket. I started working on the Corella DeVille jacket. That pattern is Simplicity 9342, which I will go ahead and put up on the screen. That is the next uh, sew along that I will be doing, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up pretty soon, so you don't have to wait much longer for that tutorial. And the last thing that I am currently working on, so it's not completely done, um, I'm currently working on is hashtag so purple to NALZ as well. You should be seeing that by next week. Now that I talked about what I work on and what's coming up this upcoming week, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review for this dress. Butterick 6677. All right, so I did do this dress. I love it. I'm also gonna put photos throughout this video. So first thing is the pattern description. So the pattern description says that it is a dress with a sash. It's a semi-fitted sleeveless dress. It has elastic waist, back opening with button and thread loops, closure, side slant pockets and a sash. And then you could do uh, bias tape. So I put bias tapes around the arms. Um, now I made my own bias tape instead of store bought bias tape. So that's one thing that I did do. So I do love this dress. And once again, it's Butterick 6677. So next thing is the pattern sizes. So for the pattern sizes, it comes in six through 14, 
for the smaller sizes and then 14 through 22. I picked up a 14 through 22 and I also cut a size 16 on the pattern. Um, and that gave me a bust of a 43, I believe. And then um, the waist, I just basically cut it all the way down. So it was a little big at the waist, which I think the waist was like a 43 and a half. And then the hips fit me perfectly at a 47 and a half as well. So I did love everything about the sizing. Modifications, did I make any modifications? So I did not make, I did, I'm sorry, I did make a modification. So I made two modifications. The first one was the um, neckties in the back, which I did record how I did, did that. So I'll go ahead and put it up um, on the screen. I also, since I recorded it, I will also put that link where you could go and find how to make your own um, tie bow at the back of any neckline as well as buttonholes and carriers. You can look up and see that video as well. So the two modifications was um, a tie bow in the back of the dress as well as button loops or carriers um, on the side of the dress and I put one in the back in order to have my tie stay. So um, I did create a, the stash, which I get tired of just draping it over the dress. So I wanted it to stay there. So I created carriers in order to do so. Did it look like the photo or drawing on the pattern envelope? It does. Um, I mean, like what, when I say this is amazing. So I did view C on the pattern. However, I just left off that bottom tier because I didn't have enough fabric in order to do the ruffle at the bottom, but everything is the same. It looks exactly like the pattern envelope. Were the instructions easy to follow? Yes, the instructions are easy to follow, but like I said last week, Brittany J. Jones also have a tutorial on YouTube um, for this dress. I did not sew along to the tutorial. I did use the pattern instructions only to do this review, but yes, the pattern instructions are easy to follow. What did I like and dislike about this pattern? So my likes, I love the pattern. So I love how I did the pockets. The pockets was a little different because you have two sets of pockets. You have front pockets and then back pockets. But the way that you did your pockets, it was different, but it wasn't, difficult at all so that was a good uh, thing that I did like about it I like the length um, for this dress um, but yeah I, I, I like it now the dislike <laughs> the dislike for this pattern I did not like the bias tape so I love how you use bias tape but the way that they have you do it my bias tape I had to take the bias tape down because I'm OCD about imperfections so um, I did take it down and redo it because it was not sitting um, the way that I wanted to. So I did redo the bias tape before taking photos. So that was the only dislike that I did not like. All right, so the fabric used for this dress. So the fabric used was from <laughs> my stash. It was stash fabric. Um, this fabric is from Joann's. It's um, their Disney Toy Story 4 cotton fabric, which I will also put up on the screen, uh, the number. So if you wanna go to Joann's and get you some um, Disney Toy Story 4 fabric, you can. Now this fabric was from my stash. It was part of the Disney uh, vacation that I, I was doing for my family in 2020, COVID hit, so I was unable to make all the pieces, but these are the two pieces that I was going to make for that collection, so I was able to still do it in that fabric because that's exactly what I purchased the fabric for back in 2019. Um, but yeah, I like both of them and it came out amazing two years later. <laughs> all right, so, um, would I sew this again? Yes, I would definitely sew both of these again. So this one I want to do in a solid as well as a stripe. This one I want to sew again in just a solid um, because I think it's very versatile. I could actually go to the park in this with some tennis shoes, dress it up or dress it down with some heels, tennis shoes. I could see this as some booties as well. 
um, some sandals. So you could do this dress in so many different ways. Um, if you want, you could tuck the dress into some jeans and just have the top. So there's many different ways that you um, can style this dress. However, I wouldn't style it with any jeans because it's too long for that, but you know, do what you do <laughs> with this, all right? Um, would I recommend this to other? Yes, definitely. I wouldn't recommend this dress to other individuals who may be looking for a dress to sew. So this is an easy dress. It is beginner friendly. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's easy to do. So yes, I would recommend it to others. So um, my pattern rating. So I would say, first I wanna say the skill level. So the skill level for this pattern is very easy, true beginner pattern. The only thing that I will say is I would definitely highly encourage you to watch Brittany J. Jones' video if you a, are a beginner. Just started sewing with patterns. You may wanna watch Brittany J. Jones' tutorial. Um, just go to Brittany J. Jones and type in B6677 um, and it should come up. But if you are a true beginner, you may need help with those instructions uh, if you are not familiar with the glossary. So that is um, something that I will say about the skill level. It is beginner um, friendly. My pattern rating. So my pattern rating is a 4.5 out of five. So I am taking off uh, 0.5 for the armhole and the neck um, for the bias. So I think that how they have you do it is different. I would actually do it a different way if I do this dress again for um, the bias tape. I didn't like that because it didn't leave you a lot of room to make sure that your bias tape is completely stitched together on the inside. So I had to unpick and redo it to make sure that it's catching on the inside. But yeah, I love this dress and that's all for this pattern review and I'll go ahead and put up more photos. So now that I talked about the pattern review for this dress, I talked about, you know, what I sewed, what's coming up, <laughs> the hashtag so purple to NALZ. Let's talk about Joann's pattern sale. So Joann's is having a pattern sale this week starting tomorrow, October the 21st, and it will end Sunday. Um, and what they have Sunday, I'm sorry, Sunday, October the 24th. Um, so what they are having on sale is simplicity and quick sew patterns for $1.99. So I have quite a few patterns to pick up this upcoming week. Now I did pick up patterns uh, the previous week from Joann's when they had Butterick and Vogue patterns on sale. I will do the haul in another video. I don't wanna make this video extra long with the haul, so you can see that in the next video um, on what I picked up for Butterick and Vogue uh, pretty soon. So that's all that I have for you in this episode of What You Working On Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always,